Hey, at the trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. Winter has arrived in Colorado, and with that, it brings change. Today, we're going to talk about the four seasons of leadership. So stick around. Hey, it's the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators where I'm sharing my 25 years of experience as a leader, as a public speaker. I'm here to help you defy the odds, to equip you to defy the odds in life, leadership, and public speaking, because I believe leaders and public speaking are forever glued together, and I want to help you improve to go to the next level. So today our topic is the four seasons of leadership. Just like the four seasons that we experience here on earth, summer, winter, spring, fall, they're amazing. And the same thing is through in leadership. As we go through life and through leadership, there are different seasons and stages that we get to experience. So today, as we go through this, let me know which season are you in? And what are you doing to move into the other seasons as we discuss them? Give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment down below, and I'll be sure to reply back to you. So the first season that we get to experience as leaders is the dreamer. I love dreamers. Dreamers are near and dear to my heart because I have been a dreamer. The dreaming stage is you're going to take that idea that's been birthed inside your heart. It pounds inside your soul. You, you dream about it literally in the middle of the night. I can remember when I was church planning. During the dreaming years, I had post-it notes all over the house. I had posters all over the place, demographic materials everywhere. I love the dream and come up with the mission, the vision, the idea, the nuts and bolts behind the scene before anything ever happened. The dream need to come alive. The dream is an important part of leadership. Now, the second season of life is the driver. Once you do all that dreaming, eventually you have to step out, load it up, and go someplace with it. Being a driver as a leader now means you get to spread your message and what it is you want to achieve. You're now telling people about this mission and this vision, about the values of the new way you're going to do or that different thing you're going to do. As a driver, people want to come on board. They will catch your passion. They will catch the vision. But they want to know where are you going? Where will you take us? So you drive this and drive this. Driving as a leader is exhausting. It takes a lot of emotion, a lot of planning, a lot of thought. Some people thrive in that. I remember I love the driving years. Some people, it's really hard. It takes a lot out of them to stay on it and stay on it. But as a leader, if you're birthing something, you need to drive it. No one else can drive it for you. This is something you as a leader have to do. People will follow you and no one else at this point of leadership. Now, the third stage is the director. Eventually, you start bringing people around you that have really bought in, and your team begins to form, and you begin now to empower them and equip them and train them and really take on the mission and vision. They now are the ones that are going to be the troops out there. And instead of driving all the time, they now are the driving force. You now are kind of that CEO. You kind of look at the greater scope of things. You make the adjustments that need to be made in your organization or ministry. And you kind of navigate for them as they lead down below. This is crucial, and this is where there's a huge leadership gap right now. 77% of all organizations say they are experiencing a leadership gap right now. The leadership gap happens between the driver and the director. There's a lot of great drivers that really don't direct too well. And there are directors that really have forgotten how to drive and partner up with their people. Another problem with all this gap is 10,000 baby boomers per day are retiring. Let me say that again. There are 10,000 baby boomers retiring every day. That means the directors, the initial dreamers, the early drivers, they're gone. And so our organizations, our offices, our ministries are being left with other dreamers, other drivers, but not directors. Not people that really know how to navigate this leadership void that is now happening. 
So directors is really important. You need to have more directors and grow your people around you. And the way that you do that is season four, you're a developer. Developers are mentors. Mentorship is far more than just learning the mission, the vision, the values. That's part of it. But you're really pouring your very essence into a couple people. Two, three, maybe four people you will pour into your passion, your zeal, your conviction, your values, the next evolution of the dream. You will intentionally replicate yourself. You are trying to duplicate yourself with some select people so they can become the new director. So they can feed the drivers down below them. And they will keep the same mission, the same vision, the same heartbeat that has always been. By the year 2020, millennials are going to make up 50% of the workforce. Here's a sad stat, though. 63% of the millennials in the workforce right now are raising their hand, screaming to be mentored, to be led, to be developed, because they admit, I am not equipped, I don't have the knowledge, the experience, I don't understand how to lead blank in whatever organization you're in. 63% of the millennials are asking for us to develop them, to raise them up. So let me ask your leaders, which stage are you in? Where do you want to be? And a bigger question perhaps may be, is your organization, your ministry, whatever it is that you lead, is it really about you and what you accomplish? Or do you want to have a legacy that lives on long past you? The only way to build a legacy is to build people, to build more leaders, to train them up and hand it off to them. So please, baby boomers, before you leave, make sure you develop some people around you and have your organizations thrive and grow forever and ever. So what season are you in? Well, let me hear from you today. Give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment, and I look forward to further dialogue with you. Until next time, I'm the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger. God bless and have a great week.